Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema! Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Ayan, isang maagham na hapon sa inyong mga guro, magulang, at syempre sa ating mga batang nanunod ngayon. Noong mga nakaraang linggo, sinamahan kayo ni Tutor Angel at ni Tutor March sa pag-aaral ng Science 6. Ngayon, halina't sabayan nyo ako sa pagpapatuloy ng ating aralin. Ako nga pala, si Tutor Doms ang inyong makakasama sa araw na ito. Kaya ano pa inaantay nyo? Tara na! Okay, sisimulan natin ang ating aralin. Science 6, quarter 3, week 3. Ito ay tungkol sa gravity, friction, and energy. Tanong nga ba ang aasahan natin sa araw na ito? At the end of our tutorial, you will be able to demonstrate how heat can be transformed. Anda na ba? Okay. So, nung nakaraan, tinalakay ni Tutor Angel at ni Tutor March itong taong ito. So, sino nga ba itong tao na to? Sige nga, pakigamit nga ang ating comment box kung sino siya. Okay. So, siya si Isaac Newton. Tama. Okay, ngayon, simulan natin ang ating warm-up. So, let us help Isaac Newton to choose the letter of the best answer. So let's start with the first question. Number one, it is a slowing or stopping effect exerted by a material. Is it A, friction, B, 
B, resistance, or C, gravity. Sige, pakisulat nga sa ating comment box kung ano yung magiging sagot nyo dito sa first question natin. So, this is only a warm-up. So, sabi ni ng ating mga participants. So, sabi niya, si Newton daw yung nasa picture. Okay? So, sabi ni Marvin De Leones, is it A daw, friction? So, marami nagsasabi, A, friction daw. So, tingnan natin kung tama yung sagot nyo. So, the answer is resistance. Okay? So, natiyan, tuwang tuwa si Isaac sa mga sagot natin. Okay? So, let's proceed for the next question. It is a forces that resist the motion of two surfaces that are touching each other. So, dinemo pa ito ni Tutor Marge sa atin na nakaraang linggo. Is it A, friction, B, resistance, or C, gravity? Ayan, marami nagsabi ni Ma'am Ami Ventusilio B, daw resistance. Sabi naman ni Abigail, A daw, friction. So, tingnan natin kung tama. At matutuwa sa atin si Sir Isa kung tama yung sagot natin. And the answer is friction. Diba? Congratulations. Madami mga nag nakatamang sagot. Okay. Ayan, tuwang tuwa uli si C. Newton. Okay, let's proceed to question number three. It is an act of an object when they are resting on a surface. So, nandun lang siya sa ibabaw, hindi gumagalaw. Is it A, gravity, B, stating friction, or is it C, fluid friction? Type your answer. Yes. O, saan sabi ni Merlin Villanueva, A daw? Sabi naman ni Abigail, Abigail Romanes, A, friction. Tapos sabi ni Keith Enzo Dalopapas, A po. So, tingnan natin kung tama kayo. So, the answer is... It's stating friction. Okay, next. So, ayan, natuwa uli si Sir Isaac Newton. Let's proceed to question number four. So, this is number four question. The force of attraction between object that has mass. O, siya, mismo si Sir Isaac Newton ang nag-experiment um, dyan. The force of attraction between object that has mass. Is it A, gravity? B, stating friction. Or C, fluid friction. Ayan. So, ba bago ko sabihin ng sagot, babating ko muna si Buena Amor Micaela Mercado from Pangao Integrated School. Okay? So, ganun din si. So, marami nagsasabi A, C. So, common answer is A and C. So, let us see kung tamang sagot nyo. The answer is... A, gravity. Very good. Ayan, tuwang-tuwa uli si sa Newton. Next. Our next question. It is a friction that acts on an object that are moving through a fluid. So we have the few words, the word fluid. What was that? Is it A, gravity? B, stating friction? Or C, fluid? Friction. Yan. So, mabati ulit tayo from si uh, Arkis Javier Adriano. Magandang araw po. Grade 6 Rizal from San Nicolas Elementary School, Hagonoy West. Yan. So, we have here the keywords fluid. So, the answer is fluid friction. Correct? Ayan. So, tuwang tuwa ulit si Isaac Newton. Okay, now. We have here the question, name, what are in the picture? So, ano-ano daw ang makikita natin sa picture? So, I have here, the big spoon, yung handle ng big spoon na yan. Okay? So, we have also here the soup, yung kulay yellow na nasa loob ng pot. And then, we have, of course, the fire. And, the wood. Ayan. So, yan yung ating um, nakikita mga pictures. So, by the way, si Queenie Galang, uh, grade 4 result from Kasarinland Elementary School. Hello, Queenie. 
ang kanyang advisor si Ma'am Cortez. So we have here now another picture. So I have here uh, hand A, hand B, and the hand C. So let us see what did the following hands do to our pictures. So we have the first uh, question is what happened to our hand A? So nakita niyo naman yung hand A, nag-steady siya sa big spoon. Let's proceed to hand B. But the hand B, after touching the pot, bigla siyang uma, ina, uh, bigla niyang inalis. And then the hand C, ayun, may naramdaman siya. So ano kaya yung naramdaman niya after um, hawakan yung nagliliyab na fire na yan? Anong kaya ang kanyang naramdaman? Yes, siya ay napasot. Ayan, tama. Napaso siya. So that is the reason why we have what we call the heat. So what is heat? So according to the definition, this is the transfer of energy from object of different temperature. So depende sa temperature, depende kung anong uh, hawak o gano'ng kalayo yung mula sa heat, sa sources of heat, papunta doon sa direct object or dun sa hand niya. So this is also an object or as object warm up or cool down, their kinetic energy changes. So there is a process na nangyayari sa pagta-transfer ng heat. So let's find out more about heat. Okay, so after um, having this experiment, so yung hand A natin, we change it into the word conduction. The hand B natin, we have the convection. And the hand C natin, we have the radiation. These are what we call the heat transfer or what we call the forms of transferring heat. So we have the conduction, convection, and radiation. Yan. So babati muna tayo sa ating mga nanonood ngayon. Good afternoon po from... Um, San Jose Elementary School, Reynaldo Marisan. Hello, Reynaldo. Yan. So, we have here um, Maria Elena Garcia from Bonifacio Memorial Elementary School from SSC. Hello po. Yan. So, let us now proceed. So, first, we have here the transfer heat through conduction. Okay. So, as you can see, from the heat, so ito yung ating sources of heat, the fire. Then nag observe yung pat natin ng heat plus the soup. So bago pa man umakyat yung heat papunta sa kamay ni hand A, ang tawag doon ay conduction, meaning direct transfer of heat. So inawakan niya kagad yun, so nakadirekta kagad siya. So that is what we call direct transfer of heat. Next, for the convection, sabi natin kanina, convection means the, um, we have the, the process involved in transferring heat. So, mamaya, ma, mas lalo pa natin mapapalanim all about convection. Same as the radiation. So, let's talk about these three forms of heat transfer. Let's start with the conduction. So, heat can be transferred through conduction. Okay, so we have here the definition, heat transfer happens when two solid touch each other or there is a physical contact. So yung kanina nakita natin na example, um, nung hinawakan niya yung big spoon, then naramdaman agad ni hand A yung pag-transfer ng heat. So that is direct contact of heat. So what are other examples ng um Conduction. Sige nga, mag, ano nga tayo, magbasa nga tayo ng mga nakasubaybay sa atin. An example pa ng mga heat conduction. So by the way muna, um, patiin muna natin si Car Oligo. Si Car Oligo ng San Jose Ule. Aba, maraming nanunod ng from San Jose Elementary School North. Ayan, nandito si Coraline Oreta ng Kasarindan Elementary. Ayan, pumapalakpak si Ma'am May Tendido Castro ng Benitez Elementary School. Okay, 
So, what are the samples of conduction? Aside from my given example. Ayan. So, we have here the first picture. The heat from a hot coffee. So, ito yung hot coffee natin. So, as you can see, meron siyang huso. Meaning that is mainit. Then, the uh, makes the cup itself hot. So, syempre, yung coffee na yan, mainit. So, nalilipat yung heat sa cup mismo. So, if you experience na pag inawakan mo yung, hot, yung cup na yan, mainit din siya. So, from the coffee, yung mainit na coffee, uh, direct to the cup. Kaya siya uh, mainit na lang. So, that is conduction. Then, we have also here another example, a metal spoon becomes hot from the boiling water inside the cup. So, pa, di ba pag tayo nagtitimpla ng kape, so kahit hindi tayo nakahawak dun sa cup na, na tinitimpla natin once na dinamit natin yung metal spoon or any metal, kasi di ba, metal is, is an example of materials na nagpo-conduct ng heat. So that is yung spoon natin. So mararamdaman din natin directly yung heat coming from the hot water. So that is an example of conduction. Now, we will proceed to second form of heat transfer. We have here the convection. Yan. So bago natin ituloy ang ating uh, lesson for today, so bati ulit tayo. Okay, ito na si Queen Boy Hundanero ng Kasarinlan. Ayan. Uh, Jonathan Lalaguna ng Barangay Puting Kahoy, Rosario, Batangas. Hello. Okay, ayan. Si, um, si Mamarites Estares. Thank you so much, Mamarites Estares. Okay. So, let's proceed to the convection. So, meron tayo dito nakitang arrow. Okay, so sa soup. So, what is a convection? Sabi dito, convection is a transfer of heat through fluid such as uh, such air or water when the heated fluid is caused to move away from the source of heat. So, sa convection, it happens dun sa soup na to. So, yung uh, ilalim nung, mga, nung soup na yan, so naiinitan. So, pag nainitan siya, gagaan siya, papupunta siya sa ibabaw. At yung mga uh, nasa ibabaw naman na soup, siya namang iilalim. So, pag process na yan, that particular process na yan is what we call convection. So, pag nakita mong lahat na ay mainit, Yung buong soup na yan, ano napapansin nyo, di ba parang mga kumukulo-kulo-kulo siya. So meaning, talagang um, super gaan na yung um, tubig na nandoon sa loob ng pot na yun. Kasi naabot na niya yung pinakamainit and that is 100 degrees Celsius. So yung process na yun is what we call the convection. It involves the fluid uh, such as air or water. So that is um, convection way of forms of heat transfer. Okay? So, tingin tayo sa ating um, comments. So, sabi, um, magandang hapon kay Dion. Magandang hapon, uh, Dion, uh, grade 6 Diamond. Good afternoon, Maria Teresa Ulbino from Pasarilan Elementary. Ayan. So, that is for convection. So, let's proceed. So, what are the example of convection? So, yan. Ang ating gustong uh, masakyan. So, maski rin ako, favorite ko rin or dream ko rin makasakay dito. So, dito, sa, sa example na to, we have the air balloon. Okay? We have the air balloon. So, bakit nagkakaroon ng convection doon? So, once nag-re-release ng heat, may usok na lumalabas doon sa sa um, apoy na yon, then yung usok na yun ay super gaan hanggang sa kaya na niyang ilipad yung uh, balloon na yan. So yung process ng transferring of heat through air, dyan ang nangyayari sa air balloon na yan. So that is convection. Okay, another thing for convection example of course, yung kumukulong tubig. So meaning all parts ng tubig na yan ay 
Uh, mainit na mainit na, kaya siya nagre-react ng pagkulo. So another um, example pa nyo, once na tinakpan natin yung pan na yan, mapapansin ninyo, dumidikit yung tubig dun sa takip. Okay? So meaning, yung water na kumukulo, nagiging gas siya. So pag siya inangat mo, so lalamig uli siya, kaya magiging tubig uli. So yun yung way of transferring heat using the form of convection. Okay? Ayan, bati ulit tayo. Ayan si Julius Tongpalan. Ang kanyang teacher daw si Ma'am Mary Joy Pesarte. Si Lovely Enko. Teacher daw niya si Ma'am Maninang. Hello. Hello mga bata. Salamat sa panunood. Ayan. So punta na tayo sa next. We have here the last form of heat transfer. This is the radiation. Okay, so ano naman daw yung radiation? Radiation is a kind of energy that is transmitted or radiated in the form of rays. So as you can see sa drawing natin, yung kulay blue na ray, ayan. So once na tinapat natin yung ating hand, tinatapat yan na hindi yan yung hahawakan na nakatapat. Mararamdaman natin yung init. So bakit naramdaman natin yung init at na-transfer doon sa, sa ating kamay? That is because of ray, radiated rays coming from the fire. So kaya ang tawag natin doon ay radiation. So hindi natin kailangang hawakan yung apoy para maramdaman natin na siya ay mainit. Tatapat lang natin siya. Okay? So ayan. Next. So what are the example of uh, radiation? Ayan, example natin dito. Two hands na nakatapat doon sa uh, apoy. So, meron ka nakikitang rays, mga rays. So, yung rays na yan, yan yung heat. Okay, papunta sa kamay. And then, ito naman, si kuya, na nilamig na lamig. So, dahil nilalamig siya, gusto niya makaramdam ng init. So, hindi niya kailangan um, sunugin yung kanyang katawan. Tatapat lang siya sa apoy. So, two and one purposes nag pa siya. Okay? So, ang kanyang iniihaw ay um, fish, ay ano, squid ball kasi kulay po siya. So, that is radiation. Okay? Transferred heat through rays. So, those are the example of radiation. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Brianna Nicole Salazar, grade 6 student, watching from Tabang Elementary School, Plaridel District. Okay, hello sa inyo. Ayan. So now, let's see if you learn. Let us play the acrostic game. Alam nyo mga bata, acrostic game ang isa sa pinakapaborito kong game kapag ako nagdi-discuss sa aking mga pupils. So we're going to play acrostic game from the letters. Uh, heat transfer. Ayan, dito manggagaling yung ating mga tanong. So, tandaan niyo yung word na heat transfer. We have H-E-A-T-T-R-A-N-S-F-E-R. So, are you ready? Yan. So, ako ready na din. Okay. So, let's start. First letter, H, from the word heat transfer. Ayan yung question. It is the transfer of energy from object of different temperature. As object warm up or cool down, their kinetic energy changes. O sige, dali, sagot. Sabi ni Laika Sabilina, heat. Parang kilala ko si Laika Sabilina. Start with H. Add three letters. So let's see if you are correct. The answer is E, A, P. And the answer is heat. Congratulations. Ayan. Next. Okay, it is usually defined as the ability of or capacity to do work. Start with E. Another letter sa dulo is Y. It is usually defined as the ability or capacity to do work. Ano kaya yung word na yun? Sige nga, pakitype nyo nga sa ating mga comment box. Okay, sige. Ayan, ang dami. O may, may, may iba sumasakot? Okay. Ayan. So the answer, next letter will be letter E. 
Yeah, may three letters na tayo. O sabi ni Rufo na for energy daw. So, tignan nga natin kung energy nga. Dan, dan, dan. Yes, energy. Correct. Ayan. Okay, next question. In convection, transfer of heat through fluid such as uh, such water or blank. Ayan. Two letters na lang ang idadagdag natin. When the heated fluid is caused to move away from the source of heat. So ano kaya siya? Hindi na natin kung ano yung um, answer dito. In convection, transfer of heat through fluid such water or blank. When the heated fluid is caused to move away from the source of heat. Ayan. O ang sabi ni Kevin... Ay, nawala. Sayang yung kay Kevin eh. Tama sana yun eh. Uh, sabi ni Chloe Aquino Air. Okay, sana nilalagay niyo yung inyong school para. Ayan, sabi ni Haina Yula Rebato. Air po. Okay, tingnan nga natin kung air. Ayan, very good air. Congratulations. Next. It is. O, oh, mamaya ko na ilalabas yung keywords. A few letter. It is the act of moving one place to another. Start with P. It is the act of moving one place to another. What T is that? Another letter. O R. Last letter niya is R. Ano kaya yan? <clears throat> okay, watching from Malipampang Elementary School, San Ildeponso, Bulacan. Santiago Santi. Hello, Santi. Ayan. O, oh, ang dami nagsumagot na. Sabi nila, sabi ni Joyce Mahilum, transfer daw. Let's see kung transfer nga. Letter is, uh, third letter to the last we have F. N-E-S. Okay, so the answer is transfer. Very good. O, oh, ito na. Sabi ni Mariel Santiago, bating ko muna si Mariel Santiago, baka Makalimutan ko. From Eleme uh, Lerma Elementary School. Thank you so much, Marielle. Okay, so isa pa, si nakita ko yung kanyang pangalan. Okay, nawala na. Okay, so that is transfer. So when we say transfer, it is the act of moving one place to another. Next. Uh, it consists of second, minute, and hours. Start with T. Consists of second, minute, and R. Start with D. So that is answer. Your answer is si Renz Christian Tobias Pabico ng, ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, Laguna. Hello. Ayan, si Ma'am Beth Makaraeg. Ang sabi niya, time daw. Thank you, Ma'am Beth. Tignan natin, Ma'am Beth, kung tama ka, ha? Ay, oo nga, tayo nga. Ayan, galing. Next. On, uh, question. A kind of energy that is transmitted or radiated in the form of rays, waves of particles. Start with R. Two, four, six, eight letters ang idadagdag natin. A kind of energy that is transmitted or radiated in the form of rays, uh, waves of particles. Ano kaya siya? We have, okay, uh, we have here the letter A, second letter. Last letter is N. Yes, very good. So marami na nang, nang ang sabi raw ay radiation. Correct. So tama ka, San, Sam, Nathaniel, and Festa, tama. Ganon din si Altea de la Rosa. Tama din, radiation. Yan. Si Queenie Galang, radi uh, radiation din. Tama ka, Queenie. Yan. Si John Jetro, radiation din. Okay. Si Angelo Lozada, very good. Radiation din, Angelo. Okay. So that is for question. Next question. Oh, what is this? Pabilisan na. Ayan. Go. Ano daw siya? So start with A. 
O kailangan accurate yung sagot natin, na So, A. Next letter, we have I. We have D. Start with A, the we. Hindi naman H, eh. Start with A. So, that is air balloon. Pero tama rin naman yung hot air balloon. Pero my instruction is, start with A. Air balloon, correct. Uh, Saijan, kilingan, tama ka. Air balloon. Ganon din si Ayumi, air balloon din. Ayan. Nakakatuwa naman itong mga batang ito. Ayan. So that is air balloon. Air balloon is an example of convection. Ba? Okay, next. O ito. A man who discovered the law of gravity. Start with M. Sige. A man who discovered the law of gravity. Sino siya? Sino siya? Paki... Um, comment na lang natin. So, ayan. So, marami. Uh, binabati ko si Precious San Santos. Good afternoon, Precious. Nawala si Precious Santos. Good afternoon, Precious. At salamat sa pagpaparticipate. Ayan. So, the answer is Newton. Yung kanina natin binida sa warm-up natin. Si Sir Isaac Newton. Okay. Next. So, Next question is, sun is the main blank of heat used by living and non-living things. I'll repeat. Sun is the main blank, start with S, of heat used by living and non-living things. So, ang dadagdag natin is six letters. So, dapat six letters ang idadagdag nyo. Pag five letters lang, mali na. Okay. So, ayan, maraming nagsasabi na source. Pero ang tamang sagot ay lagyan natin ng S. So, that is sources. Okay, sources. Source, tama din siya, pero sources ang correct answer natin. Kasi yun yung ating instruction. Si Venice Fernandez ng Lantic Elementary School. Hello, Venice! Saan kaya yung Lantic, Venice? Para maba mabati kita, Venice, na mga kasamahan mo dyan. Okay? So next, oh, it is a forces the resist motion of two surfaces that are touching each other. Ito yung uh, tinanong ko kanina sa warm-up natin. Inulit ko lang ulit. So start with F para mayroon tayong Q sa tanong na to. Okay, so sabi ni, uh, hello, Presyo Santos. Good afternoon. Okay, from San Nicolas Elementary School. Uh, ano daw siya? Forces resist the motion of two surfaces that are touching each other. Yes, friction. Tama si Ma'am Dolores Lim. Friction. Thank you, Ma'am Ma Lim. Okay, next. Uh, ito pa. A physical activity is needed by our body to get and produce heat. Uh, what kinds of physical activities needed by our body to get and produce heat? Heat. Start with E. Ayan na, my Q. E. Ayan, bilis. Type tayo. Okay, so, sabi ni John Michael Camposano, friction daw yung kaninang um, sagot. Pero tayo ngayon ay nasa uh, question about physical activities needed by our body to get and produce heat. Ayan, um, pinalitan niya agad. Sabi niya, exercise. Thank you, sir. Ayan, marami nagsasabi exercise, exercise, exercise. Sabi rin ni Merlin Villanueva, exercise din. Tingnan natin kung exercise. Okay, so that is the following letters. Yes, exercise. Galing. Okay, next. Oh, radiation is a kind of energy that is transmitted or radiated in the form of blank waves. Starts with R. O, dalawang letters na lang idadagdag natin. That is, pabilisan tayo, Ray. Ray. Okay, Ray. Ayan. Nauna kagad na kapag sabi si uh, Marvin Billiones. Very good to si Marvin. Kanina pa ito nagpa-participate, ha? Okay, so that is Ray. Ayan na. Punta tayo dito. So, I have here the three characters. I hope kilalang kilala natin ito. Okay. So, these are 
characters in the play MN. Yan. So, ito yung ating um, kilalang kilala ng mga bata, yung ML. So, let's play ML. Handa na ba kayo maglaro ng ML? Pero this time, dahil tayo ay nasa pagtuturo at kailangan may matuto, ML means more learnings. Okay? So, alam po kilalang kilala nyo na itong mga characters na to. So, itong first character na to, kung kilala nyo to, siya si um, Zilong. Ito naman si uh, Yudora at ito naman si Lila. Pero, for this day, papalitan muna natin sila. Dahil more learnings tayo, we will talk about the convection, conduction, and radiation. So, papalitan muna natin mga powers nila with these three forms of heat transfer. Okay, so first, mamimili muna itong tatlong characters kung sino-sino yung kanilang gustong gawing character. Gustong gawing power kung siya by radiation, conduction, or convection. Tingnan natin kung ano yung pipili ng bawat isa. Dun, da -da -dun. Da -da. Ayan. So si Lila, for the meantime, siya muna si radiation. So wala muna tayong Lila ngayon ha, sa ating game. Siya muna si radiation. Tapos si Zilong, siya muna si conduction. Tapos si Eudora, siya muna si convection. So di ba pag tayo naglalaro ng ML, bago tayo mag maglaro, kailangan alam natin yung character natin, kung ano yung magiging tulong natin sa team. So ganun din sa ating requirements for this game. So iisipin mo muna kung sino yung gagamitin mong character based doon sa problem Uh, sentence na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Let's start. Ito yung problem sentence. It is a sunny day. And you are playing outside. Suddenly, you feel that your skin becomes hot. O, biglang minute yung pakiramdam mo. How does it happen? O, paano kaya nangyari yun? So, sinong character ang gagamitin ninyo dito sa problem sentence na to? Is it conduction? Convection or radiation. Go. Ayan. Sige. Ano ang ating gagamitin? Okay. So sabi, sabi nung mga ating participants ngayon, ang gagamitin natin na, na character ay si Yes, radiation. So, yung problem sentence na to, this is radiation. Okay, next. Oh, an alligator, crocodile, and lizard use the sunlight to warm their bodies. So, sinong karakter ang gagamitin natin? Dun, 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 dun. Of course, radiation pa rin siya. Okay, next. Next problem. Every morning, my mother ironing our clothes. What kinds of heat transfer from the iron to the clothes? So, meron kayo napansin na init doon sa um, damit. Okay. So, ano kayang heat transfer? Form of heat transfer yun. Yung heat coming from the iron to the clothes. So, tignan natin kung sinong character ang gagamitin natin dito. And the answer is... Yes, that is conduction. Okay, very good. Next, another situation. What form of heat transfer is used to boil the soup? So, yung process ng pagboil ng soup doon. So, mapapansin niya may usok and then kumukulo-kulo and then yung mga sahog doon sa soup nag-reshuffle-reshuffle, bumababa, umaakyat, bumababa, umaakyat. So, anong character or form of heat ang gagam anong pinapakita niya ng form of heat transfer siya? Okay? So, sino dyan sa tatlong character? Is it conduction, convection, or radiation? Let's see. And the answer is convection. Very good. Next. Sa pang cake naman. So, from first picture natin, nakita natin um, kulay white. So, nung na um, uminit, naging brown na siya. So, anong process or anong way or, or form of transfer of heat ang nangyari doon sa pancake na to. Is it conduction, convection, or radiation? Tignan natin ha. 
So the answer is conduction. Very good. Kasi yung pancake mismo direkta doon sa apoy. Okay? So from white color, naging brown color siya. So yung heat nalipat doon sa um, sa pancake na luto siya. Kaya siya naging brown. Very good. Okay, next. Okay, so remember. Remember ah. Heat can be transferred through conduction, convection, and radiation. So that is um, our lesson for today. So maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga nag-participate sa araw na ito sa akin. So binabati ko rin pala syempre. Uh, ang ating nga palang um, ito lang ay napapanood at uh, DepEd EdTech through YouTube at saka Facebook natin. So, yung ating DepEd Philippines Facebook, nakalag din tayo sa Facebook page ng DepEd Tayo Region 7 saka DepEd Tayo SDO Pampanga. So, bago ako magtapos, binabati ko po muna pala ang pabuang buong SDO Kalookan. Siyempre, ang aking principal from Pasarinland Elementary School, Mamarites J. Tarago. Maraming maraming salamat po. At God bless po sa ating lahat. Magkikita ulit tayo next um, Monday. Okay? So good luck at keep safe po sa ating lahat. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating itulay free online tutorial session sa English. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating itulay tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!